What is this? A center for ants! Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 American movies banned in other countries. Don't worry, nobody watches this stupid show. Hmm, what's that ominous glow in the distance? For this list, we'll be looking at Hollywood films that couldn't be shown in certain areas outside of the U.S. We'll include movies whose bans were eventually overturned. Do you know of an American-made film that was banned from this list? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Lightyear Buzz Lightyear Mission Log, Stardate 3901. After a full year of being marooned, our first hyperspeed test flight is a go. Who are you talking to? Uh, no one. You were narrating again. I was not. In 2022, Chris Evans starred as the breakout Toy Story character Buzz Lightyear. While the cosmic action was mostly accepted, there was one aspect of the film that got it banned. During the film, two women shared a kiss. That affectionate moment was allegedly enough to get the animated feature banned in 14 countries. Mission failure imminent in three. Grandma always said she believed in you, too. <laughs> One. There was a big swirly dude. Oh, I think I need a bag. No, no. Please record your last words. Do not vomit inside the vehicle. It appeared that nations like Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and Malaysia all deemed the scene so inappropriate that they wouldn't screen the movie at all. In the end, Disney chose not to remove the kiss in those territories. Chris Evans later spoke about his disappointment with the decision. There's always going to be people who are uh, afraid and uh, uh, unaware and, and trying to hold on to what was before. But those people die off like dinosaurs. As of June 2022, it was still unclear if Lightyear will take flight in those banned countries. To infinity. And beyond. Number 9. The Da Vinci Code Discussing certain religious subjects can instantly stir up controversy and backlash. The cinematic adaptation of the Dan Brown novel, The Da Vinci Code, learned that the hard way. You say you, you hate history. Nobody hates history. They hate their own histories. During the movie, Tom Hanks plays Robert Langdon, a world-famous symbologist on the trail of an ancient religious mystery. Halfway through his journey, he learns that the Catholic Church in the film tried to keep the world from discovering that Jesus had a wife and child. But how could Christ have a bloodline unless... Mary was pregnant at the time of the crucifixion. Many people in the real world found this fictional idea to be too controversial. Sri Lanka, Pakistan, Egypt, and more wouldn't entertain the idea of the film being shown. Despite the widespread bans, the film made over $750 million and kicked off a franchise. I was so wrong. Son, you didn't want you to help guard the secret of the Holy Grail. Sophie. You are the secret. Number 8. The Simpsons Movie Homer, you have to go out there, face that mob, and apologize for what you did. I would. I'm afraid if I open the door, they'll take all of you. No, we won't. We just want Homer. Well, maybe not you, but they'll kill Grandpa. I'm part of the mob. Since this Springfield family has been known to push the envelope on several occasions, it wasn't surprising to hear that it wasn't accepted everywhere around the world. Sir, I'm afraid you've gone mad with power. Of course I have. You ever tried going mad without power? It's boring. No one listens to you. When Myanmar banned the film, there were a few guesses as to what got the Simpsons movie banned. The movie does contain harsh critiques of government overreach. Additionally, there's scenes with mob violence and guns. There's also a scene where Bart Simpson skates around the town completely naked. But the movie was apparently banned in Myanmar because the colors red and yellow aren't allowed on their movie screen. Allegedly, that combination reflects the colors of a disliked group within the country. Not even Spider Pig had the power to change their minds. Spider Pig, Spider Pig, does whatever a spider pig does. Can he swing from a web? No, he can't. He's a pig. Look out, he is a spider pig. Number 7. The Hunger Games Happy Hunger Games! And may the odds be ever in your favor. The events of The Hunger Games take place in a future dystopian America where young people from each district of the country are chosen to participate in a battle to the death. Traditionally, only one person is allowed to walk out of the games alive. There's 24 of us, Gail. Only one comes out. Yeah. 
and it's going to be you. The narrative provides scathing critiques on the dangers of dictatorships and classism. While its strong political subject matter could warrant a ban, there are other parts of the premise that were a no-go in certain places. I can still do that. <laughs> One more kill. <laughs> The, only thing I know how to do. the movie's depictions of violence prevented it from being shown in Vietnam. Although some audiences within the country disagreed, the government was resolute in its decision. Thank you for your consideration. Number 6. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Sally, I hear something. Stop! Stop! <laughs> for some films, getting banned is a badge of honor that makes it a cult classic. One of the most famous examples is The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The gruesome horror set the gory bar for every slasher film that's ever followed. Censors around the world struggled to handle the film's heavy amount of body horror, blood, and violence. As a result, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre wasn't screened in places like Brazil, Iceland, and Sweden. It took 20 years for the ban to be lifted in the UK alone, but the multiple bans only added to the film's allure. Over the next 40 years, the movie made over $150 million at the box office. It didn't have to play everywhere to become world famous. <laughs> Number 5. Brokeback Mountain Throughout some parts of the world, it's still considered taboo to portray LGBT plus issues or characters on screen. So, it's unfortunately no surprise that Ang Lee's Oscar-winning film Brokeback Mountain was banned. You know, friend. This is a goddamn bitch of an unsatisfactory situation. The film stars Jake Gyllenhaal and Heath Ledger as a pair of cowboys who fall in love with each other. Over the years, the two men are forced to hide their relationship and sexuality. This is a one-shot thing we got going on here. It's nobody's business but ours. The deep and honest exploration of two gay men struggling to embrace their romance wasn't permitted in certain places. While it was banned in the United Arab Emirates, it wasn't screened in movie theaters within China. Ironically, the latter country commended Ang Lee on winning the Best Director Oscar for Brokeback Mountain. I wish I knew how to quit you. Then why don't you? Number 4. The Interview One look at the plot summary makes it clear why this Seth Rogen comedy was unbelievably controversial in North Korea. The movie centers around two journalists who are asked to assassinate Kim Jong-un while going to interview him. You want us to assassinate the leader of North Korea? Yes. What? Additionally, their target is portrayed as a sad, lonely man-child with serious daddy issues. I don't need my father. I am strong. Before the movie ends, the unlikely heroes manage to kill the dictator with a graphic and slow-motion explosion. The portrayal of Kim Jong-un and simulated violence enraged the North Korean government. Not only was the film banned there, but Sony Pictures was the subject of a massive cyber attack for producing it. The hack and threats caused the interview to be pulled from American cinemas as well. Hate us because they ain't us. <laughs> exactly. They hate us because they ain't us. <laughs> That's a great saying, okay? <laughs> hate us because they ain't us! They hate us because they ain't us! <laughs> Number 3. Zoolander It's easy to forget that a silly comedy like 2001's Zoolander was the subject of a serious ban. Did you ever think that maybe there's more to life than being really, really, really ridiculously good-looking? This goofy story sees Ben Stiller playing a vapid male model named Derek Zoolander who tries to stay relevant by working for a renowned fashion icon. Unbeknownst to the really, really good-looking guy, he was actually being brainwashed to assassinate the Prime Minister of Malaysia. Do as you've been trained to do and kill the Malaysian Prime Minister! Although Zoolander ultimately stops the dastardly plan, the government of the real country was not amused by the joke and didn't allow the film to be shown at all. Thank you, Derek Zoolander, for saving my life. Over in Singapore, it was temporarily banned for the country's close relationship with Malaysia and its depiction of illegal substance use. 
Zoolander clearly wasn't a laughing matter in these nations. No, no, no. no. Be cool. Come on. I'm sorry. Please go ahead. My mistake. Number two, The Last Temptation of Christ. Like The Da Vinci Code, Scorsese's classic The Last Temptation of Christ was an adaptation of a widely controversial novel. Both the book and the film outraged a number of religious people. The story sees an angel prevent Jesus from dying on the cross so he can live out a happy life as a family man. But after seeing the violent widespread rebellions, he realizes he was tricked by Satan and begs God to die for the world. I want to pay the price. I want to be crucified and rise again. This portrayal of Jesus and story led to director Martin Scorsese receiving death threats. The film was banned for years throughout South America, Asia, and Europe. It was even removed off of Singapore's Netflix service in 2020. The film may continue to generate backlash for years to come. But three days later, he rose up from the dead and went up to heaven. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Back to the Future My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious sh While many films are banned prior to or shortly after their initial release, some movies find themselves banned long after their debut. This was the case with the sci-fi classic Back to the Future. Whoa, this is heavy. There's that word again, heavy. Why are things so heavy in the future? Is there a problem with the Earth's gravitational pull? After 26 years and two sequels, Marty and Doc's adventures were officially banned in China. In 2011, the Chinese government forbade all films and television shows about time travel. Prior to the ban, the genre was incredibly popular on Chinese television, but the government wanted its citizens to have more respect for the way history originally happened. As a result, the Robert Zemeckis classic was banned alongside any other movie that traveled through time. Hey Doc, we better back up. We don't have enough roads to get up to 88. Roads? Well, we're going. We don't need roads. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.